So I brought home this nice Craftsman 4-in-1 line vac from the store the other day. And among other things that I found wrong with it is it has a snapped cylinder head bolt. Now how that happened. So the this had a reco recoil mechanism problem. It seemed like the mechanism was hanging up on this bolt. So the bolt was loosened, then on reassembly it was over tightened and it snapped. That left an unknown length of cylinder head bolt trapped here in the cylinder head. And it was trapped, you can see this is about an inch and a half, was trapped an inch and a half down in that hole. Now, quite a daunting removal task for somebody who's not used to doing this every day. Well, I was successful, so let me show you how I did it. Now, the first thing you have to do, by the way, I didn't know it at the time, but that's the length of threads that was stuck in the hole. Now here's a new bolt. So that's our first hurdle. We don't know how much is in there. So you don't know how deep to drill. You don't know what size drill to use. So let's try to answer those questions. The first thing we need to do is identify the diameter of this bolt. So here I have a gauge. And how to do this, let me... It fits in the number eight hole, which is the same as five, five sixteenths. So we have a five sixteenths inch diameter hole, also known as a metric eight millimeter. Okay, now I'm gonna try to get it out with easy outs. Here's a kit of Sears easy outs that I bought probably 50 years ago. But the price tag on that had said $2.49. Fell off during this repair. I've tried to use this many times. I've never been successful until just now. Now on the back, there's a little gauge that tells you, a little chart, what size drill bit to use for what thickness bolt you're trying to remove. Well, I've never been successful following these guidelines. So here's what I did today. The first thing I did was select a drill, a drill bit that was slightly smaller than the diameter of the bolt. So this is just slightly smaller than this. And it fits in the hole. Not a wiggle though. So the next thing you have to do is set up some sort of drill guide so that you don't damage the threads of the cylinder head. Now this is a plastic, like a parapet almost. I don't know where I got this from. I had this hanging around. So I cut a length, lost it, it's here somewhere. I cut a length exactly that size. And stuck it down the hole. So it was exactly the right size. It fits in the hole. And that is going to prevent the drill bit. Drill bit fits inside here. And that's going to prevent the drill bit from walking and damaging the threads. Because if you watch all these online videos, a lot of people warn about that. And then they damage the threads. They have to end up drilling out the whole thing and retapping. Boy, I didn't want to go through that. So, I used a, the biggest drill that I could, that was slightly smaller than these threads. This one happens to be... S 
7.30 seconds. Now the next question. How deep are we going to drill the hole? Because a lot of the guys online show you drilling the entire, the entire piece out. I managed to get it. I didn't want to have to drill this entire length. That's uh, that's th three quarters of an inch at least. The other thing, you don't know how how much threads are in that hole. So how, another question, how much drilling do you have to do? Well, I read somewhere that between three and six millimeters. So here's the plan. Having never been successful before, having broken drill bits and made all the mistakes that everyone makes, I, first step, use the punch to give me a little divot in the hole quick punch down the center of the hole. I stuck in my my pipe to protect the threads and I started drilling with this drill bit and I only went down about three millimeters and then I started drilling with this drill bit and went down about another three millimeters. So what I tried to make, and I've got this little diagram here so the first thing I did was drill with that one. Then I went down a, another three millimeters with this one. So all together we're drilling only about a quarter of an inch into the top of this. Only a quarter of an inch total. And I tried to make an opening that was going to resemble the shape of these easy outs. So the easy outs don't look like a drill bit. The problem I've had in the past is that the easy out just strips out of whatever drill, whatever hole you drill. So what I tried to do was to make an opening that resembled the shape of easy out. And to my wonderment and surprise, it did work. It did work. And here it is. And I also, what size was this? Uh, doesn't follow the guidelines that are on the back of this jacket. Because this is the middle size. This would be a number three size. And on the instructions of the back of this, they tell you to use a one or a two. Well, that's never, ever worked for me. This did work. Now, the other thing we need to know. When this snapped off, the remaining part was not seized. It wasn't rusted in place. It wasn't seized in place. There was no Loctite on it. It, you should have been able to back it right out if you could grab it. The thing is, it's an inch and a half down that hole. So how do you grab it? Well, that's what the easy out is for. So what about the drilling operation? How did we actually drill it? Well, you can see Here's my second drill bit. This is an eighth inch bit. And I put this red tape on it because I did not want to have more than a quarter of an inch total depth. After all, I didn't know how much thread was in there. So three millimeters on the first one, six millimeters is about a quarter of an inch, you know, 25.4 millimeters to an inch. So six fours are 24. So yeah, right about there. And that's what I did. Now, what did I use to drill it? I used this Bauer, Harbor Freight Bauer. The drill setting I used was drill right here. Didn't use any of the numbered settings. How long did I drill? Well, you may have read online that something like this is going to take you hours. Well, that's because when you have no confidence, which is I had no confidence, and you don't know, and you're frustrated, uh, yeah, could take hours. But in truth, I, I think you could do this in maybe 15 or 20 minutes. So what I did was I sat right here on this stool.
squirted some PB Blaster down the hole. Didn't have any cutting oil, so we use this instead. Found my piece of tubing that I used. Put my protector in the hole. I had some scissors to pull it out as necessary. Took my Harbor Freight drill. I started with the larger bit, not the small bit that you see here. And just started drilling. When the drill got warm in my hand, maybe after a minute or two, here I am on the drill setting, and you could feel it getting warm. The idea is you don't want to break that drill bit, and that's part of the reason I didn't want to use anything smaller than an eighth inch to finish up with, because it's so easy to break those small drill bits. Then they get stuck in there and you're in worse condition. So. Uh, just letting the weight of the drill do the work. I'm not pressing very hard. When the tool gets warm in my hand, pull it out, put it down, let it rest. I don't want to burn out the drill. Now, here's the most important tip. What happens is after you've been drilling for a minute or two, there are shavings down at the bottom of this hole, and there's no way for those shavings to back out. So what I would do, and all you're doing is mashing the shavings after that. You're not getting anywhere. Use this to pull out my protector. And then, this is a screwdriver tip magnetizer. I've shown this many times in other videos. So you magnetize a screwdriver tip. And then you stick it down the hole, and out comes a whole bunch of greasy, messy, drill bit shavings, or all stuck to the screwdriver tip, which you just wipe off with a paper towel. And make sure you get the bottom of that hole nice and clean. And the magnetized screwdriver tip pulls out all those shavings. Oh, okay. And another little squirt of PB Blaster or whatever you have, some sort of lubricant. Put your protector back in. Now if you look at this carefully you can see the bottom. Here's the top. And you can see how the bottom is all discolored. That's where all the drilling action took place. Throw that back down the hole. And kind of measure, determine how far you've managed to penetrate. And you just keep repeating this. Drill for another minute or so until the drill gets warm. Pull it out. Try to see how far you've gone. I had some red tape on the larger drill bit as well. Let the drill cool off. Repeat. Pull out your protector. Stick in your screwdriver, pull up all the shavings, clean it off on a paper towel. Man, that came out. Just all the shavings stuck to that. And then, I would say after doing this, it didn't truth take me longer because I didn't really know what I was doing. But once I determined that I had gone down the three millimeters with the larger bit, I went down another three millimeters or so with the eighth inch bit. And then I decided to try my easy outs. The two smaller ones didn't work. But this larger one, you turn it counterclockwise, bit right in and backed it right out. No sweat, like I was backing it out with a screwdriver. And that's, that's on there pretty good. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to try to get that off and see how deep that hole really is. But this worked for me. So the two tips, I used a much larger easy out than is typically recommended. I sucked out the drill shavings with a magnetized screwdriver tip. I did use two different size drill bits. 
Really, it went as smooth as could possibly be expected with no difficulty. So let's let's uh, try to back that out and see what the hole looks like. Okay, I'm grabbing it now with a vice grip. We're going to go clockwise to try to remove this. Mm, came right out. And there's our hole. That's all we drilled. Look how close I am to the edge also. So good thing we had that that plastic pipe in there to protect the threads. But it works great. Came right out. New one screws right in. Let's try it. Screws all the way down. No problem. I can screw it down by hand. I'm flush now. I never thought I was going to get this, so I I hope these tips help someone. I think confidence is the is the most important thing. When you don't know what you're doing, you've never been successful, you have no confidence. It's very frustrating, very nerve-wracking. This worked great for me, so I sure hope that these tips help someone. The things to take away from this, you don't need a very big hole to remove a broken stud like this. A quarter of an inch is all you need. Whether or not you need to use two drill bits like I did, don't know, it worked for me. I certainly wouldn't use anything less than an eighth of an inch drill bit since the smaller ones break so easily. And also the other big tip that nobody talks about, magnetic screwdriver tip. Magnetize that tip to pull out the shavings. So what I thought was going to be a terrible job really was, was not terrible at all. So I hope this gives you some confidence that you can uh, do something like this. And hope you're successful. Thanks for watching.